fighting fires in the recent hot weather we've had. It's already hard and dangerous work, and that weather makes it even harder. CBS 3 photojournalist Brad Now went to Sharon Hill, where firefighters face the heat as they train to deal with basement fires. The excessive heat warning is in effect until 8 o'clock tonight for Philadelphia and surrounding counties. <laughs> This informs our procedures and our practices with science, and that's really critical. Our firefighters, our medics are the best in the world. Our firefighters have never seen anybody work harder to save lives and protect property. Now, as we look at our procedures for fighting basement fires, uh, we're actually going to be able to benefit from some of this science and this research. This is a match pack in a couch that all of us have in our homes. Know, 40 pounds total between the gear and the helmets and equipment. Steamy with sun and clouds this afternoon, high 96. But remember, it would be like running it inside of an oven. So uh, it's difficult enough in there. And then with the heat out here and the humidity, it's very hard for our firefighters and our medics and our EMTs to recover after a job. But they do, they get right back in there and go right back to work. Two, one, ignition. Uh, in the basement level, we're reading about 550. What do you tell your guys on a day like today? We tell them to hydrate, hydrate, and hydrate. And that's really great advice for everybody. Uh, this is serious heat out here today. We've got the uh, window out in the rear at the top of the stairs. 